Despite the increasing prevalence of internet-based communication channels, phone calls remain a critical relationship-building tool between businesses and customers. Talking to customers over the phone comes with its own set of rules and expectations. So, it's essential to master using the phone for customer service. So, how can you prepare for a successful customer phone call? And how can you set the right tone and continue the conversation well? Great calls with customers start before you even pick up the phone. As you prepare to talk to a customer, consider smiling, standing up, or closing your eyes. These strategies put you in a positive mood, get your blood pumping, and help remove any distractions. When a customer calls, answer at or before three rings. This gives you enough time to prepare for the call, but also makes sure the customer isn't kept waiting. Also, don't use the speakerphone option. It'll make it harder for customers to hear you. Instead, stick to headsets or regular phone settings. The opening exchanges between you and the caller will set the tone for the entire conversation. Be mindful of what you're saying and how you're saying it from the very beginning. That way, you can create a welcoming environment and build trust, even over the phone. Here are some tips to get you started. First, exchange introductions. Tell the customer who you are and what your role is, and ask them how they'd like to be addressed. Just be sure to pronounce the customer's name correctly. Strive to demonstrate friendly confidence, showing the customer that you are someone they can trust. Finally, use verbal nods like uh-huh and I see to show that you're staying engaged. That can help remind you to practice active listening, listening with intention and genuine curiosity. Once you get past the introductions, you'll learn more about why the customer is calling. Every call will be unique, but there are ways to react and respond that can help you guide any customer conversation in a positive and productive direction. First, be transparent. Sometimes you need to put a customer on hold, make a transfer, or ask someone on your team for help. Be honest with customers and tell them why you're taking these actions. Next, use professional but plain language. Speak clearly and respectfully to make it easy for customers to follow along. Also, try your best to avoid interruptions. Allow the customer to express themselves fully without disruptions. At the same time, work to minimize distractions, including any background noise in your environment. Continue the conversation by allowing customers to speak freely. Do your best to respond honestly and clearly to what they're sharing. And remember that every call will eventually come to an end. As your conversation continues, look for ways to express gratitude. This shows that you appreciate the customer and value what they're sharing. Finally, at the end of the call, summarize what you've discussed and then clarify the next steps to take. You and the customer should be on the same page before you hang up. Because it's so accessible, the phone isn't going away anytime soon. That means providing outstanding customer service by phone will continue to be essential for most businesses. Remember that every call is a chance to show customers what your brand really values. And with a little practice, you can answer every call with confidence. So take a deep breath, focus on the customer, and know that you have the tools to make every call a productive and positive experience.